and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title and this t-shirt, it's another DIY video. I think I'm going to be wearing this in every DIY video because this is how I DIY and I'm keeping it real. So um, today I'm going to be doing up my bathroom. Now this is like my shame room. I hate this room. I used to share it with my two sisters. However, now it's just me. So it's kind of my main bathroom I use when I'm staying at home. It's also the bathroom my clients use. I have an at-home beauty salon called Simply Vibrant. So this is where my clients come in, wash their hands in, spend, if they need a wee, that's where they go. So I hate the fact that I don't love it. We did it up probably about 10 years ago when my dad was away, just me and my sisters and my mum. Um, so we really did kind of just do a sort of little DIY job on it then. However, I feel like my DIYs come a lot further and definitely my sort of look has changed. Um, so I definitely won't want to go over it and spruce it up a little bit, just change up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to take you along for the ride. I don't mind getting messy. So um, the first things I want to tackle is these tiles. Now these are originally, I can actually show you because they've come off behind the shower like that. So these sort of brown, not brown, orange, blue and green. I don't like them. We painted them red and black and I don't like that now. Um, I think the red was a bit of a wrong choice i wish we kept it neutral but we didn't so nothing you could do about it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically try and sand this off the ones in the shower area came off um obviously as it was constant use of the shower um so they came off with a bit of elbow grease these as you can see sort of chips are sort of in the most used areas like above the sink so i do think they will come off quite easily so i'm going to try and sand it off and i've got some white tile paint to paint over them so the plan for the room i'm going to put my pinterest board up this side so you can sort of see what I'm thinking um so I'm thinking sort of really neutral so obviously I'm going to go over them tiles like I said in the video go over the tiles white I want to switch out the basket for something neutral I want to keep it white black um I really love the subway sort of tiles so I might potentially use a black grout pen which I've seen people use and it's great however my tiles are quite big squares rather than sort of the little rectangles so I think that might not look as good I want to swap out the cabinet, which we painted red glitter on the sides, even though you can't see it. So definitely swap out that. And I'm thinking just having some nice wooden shelves, some sort of dark stained wood. I think will look lovely. I made DIY a shower curtain. I love the look. This is at the end of the Pinterest board. You'll see it. Um, of sort of the either massive TikTok mirrors that are black with sort of the square mirrors in it but equally i've seen them as room dividers the sorry girls did a massive room divider out of glass and the black wood around the edging i love that vibe and i'm thinking potentially diy a curtain to look like that you can buy them but they're expensive so i'm trying to do everything on the cheap and i'm trying to make everything look nice i may also potentially paint the floor the floor's blue so it kind of throws off all my decor however i don't know how easy that's going to be and i don't know if my parents want me to do that so i don't know however you can get tile paint so i'm thinking a white tile paint on there could look nice um as i say i'll put my pins on the board so you'll see here but that is sort of the vibe i'm going for so rustic black and white and i hope hope i hope it looks nice we will see back on here to say that um i used just a credit card and a scraper as you can see in the next clip i tried out a couple of different methods and that worked best so i'll insert them clips now I've got the majority of the tiles off. I say majority, I've got most of it off. Um, there's only like tiny little bits like this that are just in the corners, which I'm going to tackle later. Um, so in general though, they are all off. So you can see the original tiles underneath. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it for tonight. Um, I did do that all in one evening, which I did think I might have to split. I did it all, all one evening. I reckon it took about an hour and a half, two hours. My mum helped me out for the last 25 minutes so it looks really good so i'm going to leave it to dry now because we have sort of watered some down to try and get some off so we're going to leave them now leave everything to dry up and then have another little deep clean tomorrow and hopefully get painting everyone so it's a completely different day now and i have just been sitting there scraping all of the little pieces off i think more or less everything's off now of the paint so i am now just going around with my method antibac if you haven't tried this one this is the wild rhubarb one and it's amazing and i'm just cleaning everything i always going to clean my window seals and clean all the tiles just so everything's super clean um, and then i'm going to probably start painting i apologize if you can hear there's obviously some people doing some work 
outside but I'm ready to start painting so I've gone over all the tiles and cleaned them like I said um, so they're all nice and clean I think I've got as much paint off that's going to come off hopefully if there still is some paint it will cover it obviously I'm aiming to cover the decorations on the tiles at the moment so hope if I have to do two coats hopefully that'll cover it but I'm going to get started Um, I'll show you what I've done first to film it you may be able to hear all of the work going on in the background um, but I'm definitely going to need two coats as you can see by this. I'm trying to do quite thin coats um, So obviously as you saw by the red and black that was painted before um, And it dripped quite a lot um, So I'm going to try and do probably two or three thinner coats um, And I'm trying to not go into the grout. I'm potentially going to say going to colour the grout um, If I don't do it black I definitely will go over it with white just so it's super clean um, so as you can see, it's covering it. It just may take two coats, I reckon. Let me see that one. Some of it's gone, but in whole, it looks so much better just having it white. So this is after the first coat. My only concern is it's so much brighter white than the existing tiles. Well, obviously, exactly the existing tiles have been there for years, but as a whole, I do think it looks just so much brighter and better in here already. Um, I've had a shower. The paint is really great. So it's from Wilco's. It's one. This is a one coat tile paint. Obviously, that's for tiles that haven't got anything on them. But obviously, I had that print on here. So I'm going to do two coats, potentially three. So sort of see how it goes. But I recommend literally use. Although the tile paint was fifteen pounds, I'd say I've not even used a tenth of it. Not even that. I've barely used any. And obviously, I've gone over all of the top tiles. Um, I do definitely think as well. You can see where the grout has sort of gone a bit. Obviously, it's all got soap on it and things from being on that end of the shower. So I definitely will go over the grout pen. I'm still deciding whether I want to do black. I think it will look really cool, but also I think it's somewhat more messy and white. We'll clean it up nice, but who knows? Um, I think I'll wait and do that after I've got the decor in and just seeing if it needs it. But I do just think having it plain white and black just looks so much better. So I'll come back to you when I do my next coat. So it says it'll be dry in four hours. However, it says wait 12 hours to do another coat. So I'll wait 12 hours. Um, and then it also says three days before you should do anything with it. So like showering or anything. So I'm not going to have to use the shower for a while. Um, but that's no problem. I can use another one. But yeah. Right, so it's the next day, so it's second coat time. I've put on gloves just because I've just had my nails done and I don't want my nails to get ruined. So I'm hoping this will be fine after this coat, but I'm kind of preparing myself that I may have to do a third, but I'm going to get started with that. So there's work going on again. I don't know why. This is literally weeks in advance from the last time I filmed when I was work, but no one. Anyway, so what I've done is the tiles are all clean. I put a bang on them and left overnight and the grout just seems to be a bit cleaner. I tried a grout pen and it just didn't work. So it's a little bit better. Um, it looks worse on camera. It actually looks a lot better in real life. And I think if you didn't necessarily know to look, you probably wouldn't see that it's different. Um, and I've got to decorate it so much anyway. So what I've done today is I've completely cleared out everything in here, apart from the things I need just to go to the toilet in here. Um, the cabinet is coming down at some point. I've taken the pitch down. And just in general, everything's like super clean in here now. Um, I will give it another go over just like other extra bits um but so the plan is now i've got to wait until we get the cabinet down i'm going to put up some well i say i i'm gonna get my dad to put up some shelves and then i'm gonna change this mirror and then i'll be finishing touches we've just had a delivery i believe this is the laundry basket i ordered so i went with a neutral bamboo i think it's marketed as um one so hopefully i'll just tie in some more earthy neutral wood tones which is what i want to go for and also this is my thought that it is like square on the top and like flat and looks quite hard so i could put maybe some towels folded up on there or a candle or something nice just for decoration but i'll show you once i get into it here it is all made up i'm really happy with it i believe it was 20 pounds and it was on amazon i'll link it below this actually worked out a lot cheaper than the ones i was seeing in shops that i couldn't find any cheaper than like 20 pounds and it's quite a decent size and it is as i thought hard on top so i could pop some decor on there but i'm very happy with it i've just ordered three of these shelves to go up where the bathroom cabinet was i want to have open shelving and then have baskets and loads of plants and just make it more decorative so it's 15 
pounds actually we got the smaller size which is 13.99 so we got three of them so it came to about 40 pounds um but for a new bathroom cabinet they're working out more than that anyway so it's actually saving a little bit of money so just got this amazon parcel which is the shower curtain so i did mention maybe diying it but i ended up buying it because it was um 18 pounds and apparently that's kind of the going rate for a shower curtain anyway and i just bought this to be nice and durable so very happy with that it looks like this I think it's gonna look great. Shelves have finally come. They actually came really quickly, only about two days I think it took for them to come, which is super good. So I'm gonna open them now. They've come very nicely packaged with instructions. I'm just gonna open it one because I'm not actually gonna put it up yet. These are real metal pieces, which is so good, they're really heavy. Um, and then this is the most beautiful colour wood. It's kind of a bit more orangey on camera, it's a bit darker in person, but I'm so obsessed with it. So I've got three of these shelves. for the look i haven't spoken to you in quite a while on the update i've just been doing time lapses and um, so the main thing is the shelves so the shelves are all up they've got put up by my dad yesterday and i've just decorated them um i've then got a little coat which is on my charity shop always came in like a little set so i've just popped that there um, I've then got a basket full of my little towels which my clients use when they come in. Um, the mirror is going, I'm going to potentially get the new one tonight. I've put my shower curtain up which I really really like and we've just given the bathroom a really really deep clean and I've also put up my products there but I'm going to look for another wickery sort of basket. Um, but everything's been deep cleaned which is good. Um, so more or less everything's done now, just the final touches. Um, so I'm going to bring my washing basket in put the new mirror up potentially tonight if we get it and then a rug and I'm more or less done. The washing basket's in so I'm thinking because I don't really like these um little towel rails um, and the radiators quite discoloured compared to the walls I'm thinking we're getting one of them ladders and then hook the towels over that um so that between that the rug and the mirror I think that's everything. Also, my picture came to go up there. She'd buy a frame to put that in but again hopefully we'll get that tonight so coming to ever slowly but surely. So I finally put up my print. If you saw my recent Ikea haul, you know where the frame's from. The picture I'll try and link below. And um, I saw it on Instagram and saved it and then struggled to find it afterwards. Um, I ended up ordering it from America. It's not the most amazing, amazing quality, but it looks kind of hand-drawn. It's kind of the vibe, but I just love it if you know me big disney fan so i love that so much again from my ikea haul you've seen this rug which i love and then also i've popped on the bath tray and just put on popped on some accessories i'm gonna get some bath salts to pop in there um more for decorative purposes i've only got pink ones at the moment so i'm gonna leave that for now um you've seen that i'm trying to remember what i've shown and what i haven't shown but i'm so close now I just need the mirror and then i'll give you the final tour i'm so happy um it's finally coming together it's been a long stressful process but we're nearly nearly done and these are such quick easy things some of them some of them are a bit harder than others but we're getting there and i'm really really happy with it it has arrived it looks so much bigger than i thought it was but i've just held it up and it will be fine so it's only 10 pounds a beautiful circle mirror with a nice chain and i'm really excited that was from Danielle. that's the end of the bathroom makeover i'm so happy with how it turned out it was 
a long process, a bit of a stressful process. There was blood, sweat and tears, but it is done. And I'm really, really happy with the result. Um, it's just like my Pinterest boards I showed you at the start. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did and you want to see more makeover videos, I'm sure there is plenty more spaces I can find to make over. But if you did like today's video, don't give it to go with it a thumbs up. Give it a comment if you liked it. Tell me what your favourite part about the room was. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.